Well, you always have to keep your eyes out. Writer after writer, all sharing a similar message. Always know your surroundings. You have to be aware, and there's sometimes not any cops around. Luckily for one writer, security guards were around Saturday morning at the 169th Street Station in Jamaica, Queens. Police say this man followed the young woman exiting a Queensbound F train. Once the two got to the mezzanine, the man allegedly punched the woman several times, covered her face, and tried to take off her clothes. Thankfully, nearby security guards heard the commotion and came over to help. He then ran from the station where nearby surveillance video captured the man wearing a light blue hoodie and black sweatpants running along 168th place. It makes you worry, you know, like, because really I bet she was just coming from work, you know, going home, doing her, and she just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. I use the subway every day. Sometimes I'm not, I'm here at night, and so if I'm alone, uh, it's definitely worrisome for sure. And it's not just on subways. Over in the Bronx last Friday, police say this man grabbed a woman on board a bus. When the 33-year-old mother of two confronted him, he slashed her in the face. He ran from the scene while she was transported to a local hospital. While major crime is up on subways, sex crimes are trending down. According to NYPD statistics, there were 84 attacks last year compared to 75 in 2024. That's an 11% decrease. Police believe sending more officers into the transit system helped Reduce crime in February. Despite the numbers, riders we spoke with say they want to see more being done to keep women safe on public transit. They make things like carrying your knife and your taser and your mace illegal, but what are they doing to protect women specifically? If you recognize either of the men in the video, get in contact with police. Now, I spoke to someone today who knows a security guard who intervened in that attack on Saturday here in Queens, and she told me that the 20 year old came this morning and not only hugged and thanked the security guards who intervened in that attack, but also that she's back to riding the train again.